welcome. We are so excited to bring you guys the ponies. We have been planning, preparing, packaging, um, and we're still not quite ready, but we're going to go for it anyway. Uh, before I get started, I wanted to introduce my dog Milo to you. He's been coming to the mill with me. Come here, Milo. Come here. Come here. Let's see if he'll come over here. He was asleep. Come here. Here. Chip up. Chip up. Oh, there he is. So, let's see. Will you look at the camera? He talks to me. He's very smart. He's um, probably too smart for his own good. And he's a little weird looking, but he, d he doesn't think so. So anyway, this is Milo. Hello. And we'll get started. All right, go get in the bed. Okay. Um, so, <coughs> hello, Milo. I told you to go get in your bed. Well... You did not give me a chance even to say anything. Oh. Alright, well, what do you want to say? Well, hello. <laughs> and, uh, what, what, what is that? That is the video recorder. What? This is being filmed? Yes, we are, we're going to be on YouTube. Well, I did not even have a chance to fix my hair and get ready. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. You look good. Okay. Okay. Okay, so what what are you going to do? You're going to hang out with me while I do this video? Yes. Are you going to be good? Uh, define good. Are you going to, you know, be quiet when I'm talking? Oh, and... sure, sure. Okay, okay, sure. Okay, I'm going to get started. Okay. Okay, you can hang out there. Cool. Okay. Um, so we're going to offer four or five colors. Um, you will find them at SarafinaFiberArt.com. You um, will get a supply pack, and we have a dapple gray, which looks like this. It's mostly white with um, gray points and dapples, and this is a beautiful, long, like, lustrous um, Lincoln locks for the mane and tail. So that's the dapple gray. And then we're also going to offer the white pony. Um, with brown spots so you can make a pinto or an appaloosa and that will come with um brown surrey alpaca which is really long this is like six or seven inches long and that will be the mane or tail for that one that is that is nice stuff that's nice isn't it can i feel it cool yes cool. silky yes very soft and then this is the buckskin um, he's a nice sandy color, and he comes with the Lincoln Locks in dark gray, um, and he has gray points also. That's the buckskin pony. And then we will have a bay pony. Now this isn't totally representative of the color, um, but he will be this color. It's a pretty nice, cool bay color, and he will have black Surrey alpaca, which is, well, this isn't a very good representation, but, because we're still waiting to get it in, but it'll be a lot like the, like the brown, um, in terms of the feel and the length, but it will be black. And then we may do a chestnut, um, and the chestnut will be this color with the brown mane and tail in the Surrey alpaca. So, and then you'll get some colors to play with, some white, gray, you know, to make different spots or points or dapples, whatever. Hopefully you'll have plenty to play around with and, you know, sort of customize what you want to do. Um, if you're just joining us, I, this is not a beginner project. I'm not going to... Um, go through in a lot of detail things that I've gone over were sort of we were building on the previous videos. So a good video to start with would either be the ornaments or um, the mouse is probably the next and the fox and then the goat. Um, but definitely you may get discouraged um, if you try this as your first time project because I'm I'm not gonna, like I said, explain a lot of things that that we've gone over several times before. So, anyway, we're excited to get started, right? Yeah. Okay. And um, let's get to it. We're going to build the armature. 
Okay, we are going to work from the um, Dapple Gray Supply Pack. And, you know, depending on the color, you will figure out. I'm just going to, you know, move along with this, but, you know, you'll be able to see what's in there and which colors you're going to be using instead of, you know, if you're making the bay or the chestnut. Um, so here's the core wool. It's a huge amount of core wool. You might even be able to get two ponies. And then here is a small bag inside that has all the top coat colors, little accent colors, and the um, curls for the mane, which I'm just going to set aside for the moment. Oh, man. And the next, what? What? What does a dapple? A dapple is um, on a horse is like a spot. Okay, why is it called a dapple? I don't know. It's a fun word to say. It is dapple. 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 How about Appaloosa? Ooh, that's a fun one. Okay, so we have two wires. We're going to make the armature first, as usual. Um, Here's some examples. So find in your wires the shorter one. It's only about an inch and a half shorter. And fold it in half by bringing the ends together and then finding the center. And if you need to, you can use your pliers to pinch the end Oh, that's a pinch. Yeah, you got to get that pretty tight because that's going to be the pony's nose. So we want that good and tight. And then you can hold it with your pliers if that's easier for you while you twist. And make sure you twist the wires together evenly. This is going to be his head and neck, and we're going to go about four and a half inches. These are these are two inch marks. So I want to go. Well, that, that's convenient. Yeah. That's the way we do it around here, Milo. We do it right. Work smart, not hard, right? Right. Okay. So, and then just leave this remainder for his front legs. So I've gone about four and a half inches. And then you make the fold for the head. Um, not quite halfway. Their head maybe just a little smaller than the length of their neck. Set that down. Take your second wire, find the center. Itchy? A little bit. Dry skin? Oh, a little flaky. You could help <laughs> me with that, you know. <laughs> oh, that, uh, that's just fine. <laughs> All right. Find the center of your other wire and then this is going to become the back and hind legs and if you've done the other armatures they're all the same so I know you know this so we're going to twist we put this on the front of the neck and we're going to twist the long and short wires together two full times around so I want the long wire to come around once and then twice so that's once and that's twice. And that creates a shoulder um, on the pony. And we'll do the other side. Okay. Now we're going to twist these two long wires together. I bring them together, um, you know, just without pinching this tight. So there's, there's a nice open triangle here. That's fine. Don't twist too hard. Just let you know, like quarter, quarter inch twists down the back. And so from the base of the neck um, to the end of the twist, it's about the same. It's about four, four and a half, five inches. I'm going to go one more. And then you just fold these down. And he's going to be a little weird until we get the bends in the legs. So the front legs get a backward sharp bend about three quarters of an inch down for the pony's elbow, like that. 
and then their knee will be another you know inch and a half down from that and then we're going to give them a little pastern and fetlock so they get another sharp backwards bend it's kind of what you would think of as their ankle and then we want to fold the very tip of the wires back now I have uneven wires so I don't go by the length of the wire I go by the length of the leg and cut the wire to suit so I'm going to just trim a little tip off of that you have quite the horse vocabulary <laughs> yeah it's true when I was little, the first one of the first things I read was an encyclopedia, and I would go to the horse page and just memorize all the terminology. Um, were, were you an odd child? <laughs> I just loved horses. I had the horse bug. Okay. Okay. Like, I have the dog bug, which is why I have you. All right. Okay. So, and then in the back, we're going to do a soft forward bend. And that's his stifle or knee on each side. I use my thumb. I just press forward gently. We did this on the foxes and goats. And then a sharp backwards bend for his hock. Um, the horse hock is a little higher than a dog's, um, you know, the top of a dog's foot. Should I demonstrate? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> And then again, bend the toes back. And I have one a little longer than the other, but I'm just going to try and fudge the length in the amount that I bend back. And then pasterns on the hind legs too, so they get that little that little ankle bend there. That looks pretty good. This is one I did earlier, not under pressure. Um, and hey, they look they look pretty good. Okay, the next step is to wrap the armature in pipe cleaner, which helps the wool grab. And your kit has five pipe cleaners in black. I usually go with a pipe cleaner that is close in color to what's going to show at the tip um, of their, their foot or nose or whatever tail, because that's the hardest place to get the wool um, on and so if the pipe cleaner does peek out a little bit then you're okay because it's a similar color. Fold a pipe cleaner in half and set it over the front at the base of the neck with the middle lined up and then just gently wrap the pipe cleaner down the leg. You should have just enough so don't wrap I mean, I'm doing really loose wraps. Don't wrap too much because then you won't have enough to um, bend your the tip of your pipe cleaner over the toe. You definitely want that metal wire covered with pipe cleaner at the very tip of the toe. And now I'm going to do the other side. <laughs> make Mesmerizing. You, make, make you dizzy. <laughs> And the pipe cleaner is actually a good opportunity to, if you do need to fudge a leg a little longer, um, you could leave a little bit of length of pipe cleaner just off the tip of the toe. Um, that's fun to say, the tip of the toe. Um, and then you're going to do the same over your hind legs. Itchy? Yes. Oh, goodness. Did you, did you hear something? Yes. Oh! Is it an intruder, perhaps? Or the wind? Who knows? Could be anything, right?
I need to I need to get on with this. I, well, I know. <laughs> Sometimes I can't control myself. I know, I know. Okay. Your fourth pipe cleaner, third pipe cleaner, is going to start between the front legs and then just wind front to back down the top. And leave you'll have this long bit sticking off. So you want to fold it back to itself, give it a couple of twists, but leave a loop because we're going to put some of the locks through there and the loop will hold the locks. And you want this to be... <laughs> okay. Um, sorry about that. It's okay. We just had to regroup because, you know, people are trying to pay attention to the instructions. But I, I appreciate your... Um, looking out for us. Well, I, someone's got to. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so we have this third pipe cleaner on. It comes down the body, and then we've left basically a tailbone and a loop to put the locks through at the end. And then your last pipe cleaner will start between the front legs, um, but this time go this way up the neck. And you'll probably have to cut this one. You don't need the whole. Um... By the way, I love these little scissors, and I'm going to try to... I can use them left or right-handed, and they lock shut, and they're spring open, so it's real easy to um, squeeze them. They're always ready. That's what I like about those scissors. And they're portable. So anyway, I'm going to try and carry them, because I think I can get them. Um... And then make sure, again, that you fold your pipe cleaner over the tip of your nose. And it doesn't really matter what these pieces do um, between the front legs. Just get them secured around there. All right, so we have our armature. We're ready to start wrapping and building and um, move on to the next... What? Excuse me. What? Um, did you say we are making ponies? Yeah, like this. Okay, well, I, I don't want to be rude, but that uh, wire thing does not look like a pony. Well, it's like, do you know what a skeleton is? Uh, do I have one? Yes, it's like the bones. Oh, bones, okay. Yeah, like you have bones in here. Okay. Yeah, and your bones just are rigid, okay. but they support your muscles, and your muscles move your bones. Okay. And then your skin and your fur covers it all. And that's the way I like to build things. I like to start with the skeleton or the bones. And then we actually create muscles. Cool. And then we cover it with fur. Well, that is going to be very neat. Yeah. But you you just, this is where you start. Okay. And it's fun because when you have this inside there, then they are posable. Ooh. Yeah, they can do all kinds of things. It can be wild okay yes okay does that answer your question yes all right okay so we've made our armature and we are ready to start wrapping with our core wool which is what we will tackle next time and uh, we should get pretty far pretty fast because you guys know what you're doing now and um so i'll see you then bye bye <laughs>